Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're talking about proofs using angle bisectors and perpendicular angles. I love this because when you're given some of these words in your proof, it's uh, when, it, when it's a given, um, all you have to do is just say, uh, use the definition. So it's usually a, a nice little hint to help you out. Uh, grab your notes, your notepad, and I want you to talk uh, to take a moment to write all these guys down. Let's make sure I get this in the, out of the way. Um, okay, so we want to say the definition of an angle bisector is that it divides an angle into two equal parts. Make sure you have that. Definition of perpendicular angles is that perpendic perpendicular lines form right angles. So perpendicular angles are then right angles. Um, all right angles are congruent. That's another good one. Okay, so those notes, make sure that you've written those down because those are going to be important. All right, so let's talk about our first proof here. We are given that angle AB is perpendicular to BC. So this guy is perpendicular to that. So we are given this and we are given that this guy is perpendicular to that. Okay, so given that information, we need to prove that angle B is congruent to angle C. And this is that all right angles are congruent. That's what we're trying to prove here. So of course we write down our givens. Um, AB is congruent to BC, or I'm sorry, is perpendicular to BC and DC is perpendicular to BC. All right, with that information, we know that angle B and angle C are right angles. This is, that's my little sign for angles. Now let's go back to that chart we made in a previous video, right? So we know that they're perpendicular. So when we've got uh, perpendicular, actually we haven't, we didn't put that one on our chart. Um, so perpendicular angles, that's because we just set it right here. Perpendicular angles form right angles. So, uh, this is the previous chart that we used and you may want to put that on that on that previous chart like if once you're told that they're perpendicular or that they're right angles you can swap those two because of the very definition of perpendicular lines so these guys are right angles because of the definition of perpendicular lines and just in case you weren't aware that that means perpendicular I probably should have explained that back up here okay so now that we know that those guys are right angles what we can do is say angle B is therefore congruent to angle C because all right angles are congruent. All right angles are congruent. Okay, so uh, therefore we now know that angle B and angle C are congruent. So let's use that, but we're gonna do uh, another one using angle bisectors. Now I love doing bisectors because when we have these guys, bisect just means that it makes two equal parts. But when you see the word bisect in your given, you, you know that you have to use the definition of angle bisectors. So the very first thing I do is I list my givens and then I say, okay, well, I see the word bisect, so I'm gonna have to use the definition of bisect. And the definition means that it creates two equal parts. Okay, so let's talk about this. NR bisects MNT, MNT. So that means MR, NR, I can't, can't with my pronunciation today. All right, so this angle right here is bisected by NR. And then this angle right here is bisected by NT, uh, NT, which means that this guy right here is congruent to this guy. And then we'll use a different color so you can see it a little, a little better. This guy is congruent to this guy. If you haven't already, it's a good idea to get colored pencils, highlighters, that kind of thing for your geometry class. Okay, so what does that mean? For number two, we can say that MNR, angle MNR is congruent to angle RNT, this angle right here. We also know that RNT is congruent to TNP, angle TNP. And now this is what I was saying before, because of the definition of angle bisectors. Definition of angle bisectors. The very definition is that it creates two equal parts. So now that we have this guy in here, what we can say is, all right, let's do angle M. And so what we're trying to prove is that, oh, it probably would have helped if I had written what we were trying to prove here, my apologies. We are trying to prove that angle M N R is congruent to angle TNP. Uh, and so now looking at what we have here, you can see that 
M and R is congruent to R and T, and R and T is congruent to T and P. Therefore, M and R is congruent to T and P because of the transitive property. Transitive property. Okay, so that way um, we can just get that guy right out of the way. We have now proven that those are congruent using phi sector. The big thing here is um, the you want to make sure that if you, you use any words in your given like bisect, you need to use uh, or perpendicular. You want to use definition of bis angle bisector, definition of perpendicular. Hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, great work and we'll see you next time.